for those people who are not quite sure, uh, tell us, Digital Technologies officially actually starts next year, is that right? From um, the official line is that from 2015. So schools are actually going to be given a three year rollout period. It's going to be a staggered introduction and that's totally dependent on school readiness. So there are some schools that are already running with the curriculum which has been published on the ACARA website. But from 2015, schools are required to develop teaching and learning programs that actually provide the opportunities for students to learn the content and acquire the skills of digital technology. So we're not necessarily saying that there has to be a timetabled subject, obviously in primary schools, but from um, first year of schooling through to level 10, from 2015 through to 2017, government schools and Catholic schools in Victoria will need to be offering students those programs. That's fantastic. Tell us, what can DLTV do to help that process, to help the average school and teacher get ready for that? Well, Simon and I have just been talking about um, school readiness, teacher readiness. For many schools, um, the content of digital um, technologies is very new for many teachers, particularly um, some primary schools where teachers feel quite confident in using ICT as a learning tool, an enabling tool, a teaching tool, but actually having to um, teach ways of thinking computationally, to think in a systems mode and design thinking is, is um, a little bit daunting for some of them. So DLTV has this magnificent opportunity. The stars are all aligned for the, the birth of this um, subject association aligned with curriculum because we can be providing teachers with a whole range of support, whether it be in professional learning about their own competency or capabilities with the content, but also supporting them in how to devise teaching and learning programs that are really meaningful so that we can have these aspiring young students who are eager and enthusiastic and can think computationally like as you were saying Alan Kay and um, um, and Pappet and uh, Mitch Reson and Resnick looking at these people who are inspiring students throughout the world. Absolutely yeah they, if they knew about this they'd be very excited. They certainly would and um, and I, I think what um, the Minister was saying and you were saying and Donna that um, I don't know if there are other subject associations in Australia that have quite that future um, thinking mode about really going, we're going to be a leader in this area and uh, we have a, um, expertise um, behind us and a really strong um, community and we, we have um, good infrastructure and Simon and I were just talking about saying it's interesting in the early years of the digital technologies that a lot of the teaching about the ways of thinking, the algorithmic thinking, are technology free. So we can be exploring using a lot of other teaching um, mechanisms, um, ways in which we can get students to think computationally. You mentioned a higher end subject yes. at year 11 and 12 and the working title Algorithms. It's, the, it's only for, um, it's, only, it's a VCE subject, it will have a scored study. Yep. It's unlike our higher education scored subjects at the moment which are run by the universities. This is a subject which is being developed in partnership with the University of Melbourne and um, Monash University in the VCAA. Um, it's only one of two subjects which is being developed like this. The other one is philosophy, politics and economics, just with Melbourne University. It's at units three and four only. Its working title is Algorithmics. It did have a longer name, but we thought, no, we will make this succinct. And it really is a focus on developing the language and the design and expression of processes to think logically and obviously the way in which the algorithms are tested is through uh, the execution of um, using programming languages. But this will be available in 2015. However, there will be some constraints posed on um, the capacity or the readiness of schools to be able to take it on because at the moment delivery of the content 
is going to be via the universities with the teachers acting as a tutor. There you go. Big plans ahead. It is. Thank Very you, Paula, exciting. for all your work. Thank you. That's terrific.